The recent outrage about the failure to protect refugees has spurred Australians to ask their leaders to do more. Unfortunately, there's only one pro-migration party in Australia, and that's the Future Party. In the lead up to the 2013 election, the Future Party created the 2020 report in which we argued to increase migration by 207%. We argued that refugee intake should increase proportionally. At the time, refugee intake was 12,000 people per year. If we tripled that, that would increase refugee intake to 36,000 people. Since then, refugee intake has decreased to 6,000 people per year. If the Future Party were in government right now, the refugee intake would be six times higher than it is currently. Now, this may seem like a large number, but in 1980, the Australian government took in 21,000 people per year. Based on a population of 14.8 million people at the time, that represented 140 refugees per 100,000 people per year. On a basis of 23.8 million people currently, 140 people per 100,000 per year would equate to 33,000 people per year in 2015. These levels of refugee intake are totally acceptable and totally achievable. We've done it before and we can do it again. The Future Party is also the only party who has a plan to house migrants and take the pressure off housing prices by increasing density in the major cities and by creating a new charter city called Turing. So if you want a party that has a plan to increase refugees, increase migration, increase jobs and decrease housing prices, then you need to join the Future Party.